Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 29. Class 29. Let's go! Beginner. Welcome, bienvenidos, welcome, friends and students to class 29, beginner class 29. Aquí estamos. Empezamos con un repaso de lo que hemos visto en el último clase. Estuvimos empezando con el presente continuo. We were starting with the present continuous. I was talking. Bueno, eso es pasado. But now, I'm talking. I'm talking about grammar. I'm talking about today's lesson. What am I doing? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? What, what am I doing? I'm talking about today's lesson. We were practicing. Estuvimos practicando con los verbos to talk, talking. I'm talking. Now I talk. Every day I talk. Cada día hablo. Today I am talking. Now I am talking about these verbs. And look, I am looking, estoy mirando, I am looking, I am looking at my watch to see the time. Quiero saber la hora, I want to know what time it is, so I am looking at my watch. También hemos visto standing, estar de pie. I'm, I'm not standing, I'm not standing, I'm sitting. I'm not sitting. I'm sitting. I'm looking at my watch. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to everyone who is listening. Now, I'm changing my my angle. Estoy mirando ahora. I'm looking out the window. Hay una ventana aquí en el estudio y puedo ver que ahí fuera está Leila. Está Leila. I can see Leila. She's standing. She's standing in the hall. She's standing in the hall and she's talking. She's talking to Nacho, the sound engineer. She's talking to Nacho. She's standing. She's not sitting. She's standing. She's not standing alone. She's standing with someone. She's standing with a friend. Pero no sé cómo se llama el amigo, su amigo. She's standing with a friend. She's standing with... Bueno, es un, es un alumno, yo creo. She's standing with a student. She's talking to him. And now, ahora está hablando... Oh, veo que está hablando con Nacho, el técnico. She's talking to Nacho. También podemos decir, she's talking with... Está hablando con... She's talking with Nacho. Digamos que está hablando con... con bueno, digamos, she's talking with... Porque los dos están hablando. Cuando Barack Obama habla a la gente, he talks to uh, well, well, el público, por ejemplo. He, when he speaks, he, he, he talks, or he speaks to the public. Porque él está hablando y el resto, los demás están escuchando. He's, he's speaking and they are listening. But, so he's speaking to the audience. He's talking to the audience. But here, Leila is speaking with Nacho because it's 50-50. She's speaking and he's speaking. They're speaking with each other. But he is not standing. He's not standing. He's sitting. Está sentado. Bueno, sí, está, está en su silla en el, en el uh, ¿cómo se llama? El, en la sala de control, in the control room. He's sitting in the control room and uh, he's talking to Leila. He's sitting, but she's standing. He's sitting inside the control room, and she is standing outside the control room. The door is open, so they can talk to each other. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at them, but they are looking at each other. They don't know. No, ellos no saben que estoy mirando. They don't know that I'm looking, but I'm looking at them so that I can tell you what I'm seeing. Ahora hemos practicado, hemos visto, mira, hemos visto talking, looking, standing, nuestros verbos, ¿ok? Ok. Are we, are we speaking? También 
hablando, speaking. Are we speaking English or Spanish? We're speaking English, of course. Are we sitting or standing? Oh, we're, we're sitting, ¿no? Estamos sentados, ¿no? I'm sitting. I'm sitting. Are you, are you sitting or standing? You're, you're sitting as well? Okay, good. You're sitting, yes. I'm sitting. Okay. Now, let's practice a little bit more. Well, we have some, some questions. Ask me, pregúntame, ask me if I'm sitting or standing. Are you sitting or standing? I'm sitting, of course. Ask me if my brother is sitting or standing. Is your brother sitting or standing? He's standing. Probably. He's probably standing. No está aquí. No estoy seguro, pero yo creo que está de pie. I think he's standing. I'm going to guess. Adivinar. I'm going to guess that he is standing. Oh, ahora por la ventana veo a alguien. Oh, ¿quién es? Who is it? It's Alberto. I can see Alberto. Ask me if he's sitting or standing. Is he sitting or standing? He's standing. He's standing. Ask me if he's standing in the hall or in the control room. Is he standing in the hall or in the control room? He's standing in the hall. Ask me what he's doing. ¿Qué está haciendo? Kyle, what is he doing? What is he doing? He's talking. Ask me who he's talking to. Who is he talking to? He's talking to Layla. Yes, he's talking to Layla. Ask me if they're talking in English or in Spanish. Are they talking in English or in Spanish? Ask me if they're speaking. Mejor, más común con speak. Cuando hablamos de idiomas. Ask me if they're speaking English or Spanish. Are they speaking English or Spanish? Oh, they're speaking English, of course. They're speaking English. They're not speaking Spanish. They're speaking English. They're standing. They're both standing. Mm -hmm. They're not sitting. They're standing. I'm sitting, but they're standing. They're standing in the hall. They're speaking. They're speaking English. They're not speaking Spanish, and I'm speaking English as well. I'm speaking, I, I'm speaking English to you. ¿Entiendes? Do you understand? Very good. Word of the day. All right. Our word of the day today. Yes, our word of the day is, bueno, es un verbo. It's a verb. The verb to fill. ¿Qué es? Llenar. Llenar. To fill. To fill the glass. Today, I fill my glass. Yesterday, I filled. Filled my glass. Con la de fuerte. Filled. Pero no se puede decir filled. No, no, no. No extra syllable. Today I fill, or every day I fill. Yesterday I filled my glass. Okay? Ayer llené mi vaso. I filled my, my glass. I always fill my glass with water for lunch. Okay? Ahora vamos a practicar con el verbo going, to go, y estamos hablando, por ejemplo, de, de un avión. Si tengo aquí, bueno, tengo aquí un foto de un avión, que es mi avión, que es Air Canada, que va a Canadá. It's going to Canada. The plane, el avión, va a Canadá. It's going to Canada. The plane is going to Canada. It's going from Madrid to Canada. It's going from Madrid to Halifax, my city, my city of Halifax. Yes. Mm -hmm. Que es una ciudad bastante pequeño en el este de Canadá. Halifax, my city. Yes. It's going from Madrid to Halifax. Bueno, normalmente cuando voy tengo que ir a Londres primero, luego Londres, Halifax. Normally, I go from Madrid to London. Then, from London to Halifax, my city. Or sometimes, a veces, sometimes I go. Cuando voy a Canadá de Navidades, por ejemplo, o, o, o en verano, a veces me voy a Toronto primero. Sometimes I go from Madrid to Toronto. 
Then I go from Toronto to Halifax. Or sometimes, a veces, sometimes I go from Madrid to New York. Then from New York to Halifax. Once I went, una vez, fui, I went from Madrid to Detroit, Detroit, Michigan, and from Detroit to Halifax, mi ciudad, Halifax. Sometime, uh, once I went from Madrid to New York, then from New York to Boston, then from Boston to Halifax. Hmm. Depende de, del año, de, 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 depende. Cada viaje, casi cada viaje, de, de, cojo otra ruta, una, una ruta distinta. Uh, Alberto, for Christmas, Alberto goes from Madrid to New York. Bueno, no sé si va a Nueva York este, este, este año, pero no estoy seguro. Pero a veces va a Nueva York, claro. He goes to New York. He goes from Madrid to New York. Richard Vaughn often goes to Texas. He goes from Madrid to Texas. He flies from Madrid to Texas. Y no sé si va directo. No estoy seguro. I don't know if he goes from Madrid to, to, to Dallas. I don't know. Maybe he goes from New York, from Madrid to New York, then from New York to Dallas. I don't know. Fitz. Fitz, que sale también en la televisión. Fitz, que es irlandés. He goes to Ireland often. He goes to Dublin. Ah, disculpa, disculpa. He, he goes to Cork, que es al sur. No va a Dublín. He doesn't go to Dublin. He goes to Cork. He flies from Madrid to Cork. Quizás a veces, bueno, seguramente que yo sé que a veces va a Dublín, luego Dublín a Cork, que es al sur. He goes from Madrid. Sometimes he goes from Madrid to Dublin, then from Dublin to Cork. Mm. Richard Brown goes to England. He flies from Madrid to London. Yes, he does. Vocabulary of the day. Okay, yes. It's time for our vocabulary of the day. SOS. It's time for our vocabulary of the day. Vamos a practicar nuestros cinco palabras. The first word today. Okay, fácil. Madre. Mother. Pero fíjate con la pronunciación aquí. Mother. 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 Cerrando la boca con la M. Mother. Estoy en la memoria de mi madre. I'm in my mother's memory. <ríe> Me gusta eso. Hay que cerrar la boca con la M cada vez. I'm in my mother's memory. I'm in my mother's memory. Conmigo. Cerrando la boca con la M. I'm in my mother's memory. Very good. Ruidoso. Noisy. Eso es. Noisy. Don't be noisy. Noisy. Hmm. I don't like noisy people when I'm trying to record a radio show. Mm. Plan. Pues muy fácil. Plan. English is easy. Plan. What's the plan? ¿Cuál es el plan? Pregunta. Cuestión. English is easy. No? Question. Question. I have a question for you. Y cuando, cuando digamos hacer una pregunta, uff. To ask a question. To ask. I would like to ask a question. Hacer una pregunta is to ask. Preguntar. En inglés, preguntamos preguntas. No hacemos preguntas. Preguntamos preguntas. Quiero preguntarte una pregunta. Digamos así. I would like to ask you a question. I'm, I, I want to ask you a question. Excuse me. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Are you paying attention? This is my question. Are you paying attention? This is my question. 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 Eso no vale. Question. Enfermo. Enfermo. 
Sick. He's sick. Está enfermo. He's sick. Are you sick? Y no es uh, sick. No, no, no. Sick. He's sick. Está enfermo. Oh, no. Qué triste. <laughs> He's sick. ¿Ok? Ok, muy bien. Aquí estamos con, la, con el último uh, trocito aquí de, de nuestra clase de hoy. Y aquí vemos en nuestro guía del alumno la palabra towards, que es hacia. Va hacia la puerta, por ejemplo. I'm go uh, he's, going, he's going towards the door. Voy hacia la puerta. I'm going towards the door. Y también vamos a fijar en la diferencia entre going y coming. Going, digamos, yendo. Y coming, viniendo. ¿Ok? Coming. Y cuando digamos de vuelta, we say back. I am going to Canada for Christmas. It's true. I'm going to Canada for Christmas. I'm coming back after Christmas. Don't worry. I'll be back after Christmas. I am going to Canada before Christmas. And I am coming back after Christmas. Okay? I am going to Christmas. I'm, I'm going to Canada for Christmas. Ok, te digo eso porque tú estás en España. Entonces te digo, I'm going to Canada porque me voy fuera de España. I am going to Canada. Cuando, cuando hablo de, del momento que voy a volver, digo que I am coming. I am coming back. I'm going to Canada and I'm coming back after Christmas. Ok. So, he's going towards the door. What is he doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? What is he doing? He's going towards the door. Okay? She's going towards the exit. La salida. What is she doing? She's going. En voz alta. She's going towards the exit. Oh, ahora parece que it looks like she's coming back. She's coming back. What is she doing? She's coming back. She's returning. She's coming back. Okay, return es un verbo importante. Okay? Pero es más, es, es, mucho, es mucho más común to go back or to come back. I'm from Canada. Every year I go back for Christmas. After Christmas, I always come back to Spain. Vuelvo a España. I come back to Spain. Okay? We're out of time. Nos hemos quedado sin tiempo. Muchas gracias. Y... Mañana más. Hasta pronto. Bye bye.